draw me like one of your ape girls. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to say that. <laughs> Uh, she had been getting her portrait done for like five minutes and I kept trying to tell somebody that but uh, felt like a weirdo. Um, here is a mama and her baby. The baby's name is Aisha. She is two years old. She has been wandering away from mom. Not too much, you know, just uh, climbing here and there and Mom kind of follows her around. Um, yeah, she's she's doing pretty well, as you can see. You know, she has good grasping ability and climbing ability. Oh, who's that? <laughs> That's Willie. I named him Willie. He's he's like a Bigfoot. You know, if you played again, he looks like that that footage of Bigfoot. Anyway, Aisha. Yes. Um, seems like she's dangling. So she's she's getting some uh, strength there, building up some strength for uh, some more climbing. I honestly had a great time watching all of them. There are three females that I saw in there. One was getting her portrait done. Oh, there's Willie. I don't know what Willie is, but he cracks me up. He is hilarious. He kind of has like sloth hands. There's the male. I was so excited to see him. He is a big dude and he looks so handsome. Just look at all those dreadlocks. He looks like a like a red-headed shaman or something. I don't know. He's adorable. Um, I immediately recognized him as the male. Look, there's there she is. Um, posing to the side. Good. The guy's all into it, like, oh yeah. Um, yeah, that female getting her uh, portrait done was just so funny. Very social, playing with the kids. So there's the male. He kind of stays off to the side. And really, <laughs> he kind of stays off to the side. Um, just watches the female with the baby, doesn't really interact with her, which is what I would expect in the wild. I am surprised though, uh, that he's as close as he is. I'm sure it's because of captivity and in the wild he would not be anywhere near these females unless he was mating. Um, because from what I understand, males are definitely solitary they don't like to hang around with anybody else whether it be female or male uh, they just like their guy time you know alone time alone time is healthy but not to be alone all the time he's gonna look into that that basket check to see what's in there maybe some treats oh 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 no there goes baby down to see dad which I'm sure he is dad. He's the breeding male. Um, so, what can I tell you? Orangutans are called the red apes of the forest. They live in the tropical and swamp forest of Southeast Asia. And uh, Southeast Asian islands of Borneo and Sumatra. I do know that Borneo orangutans do go down to the forest floor and you know may forage for food or you know just have some fun time down on the floor Sumatran orangutans don't have that luxury because they do have predators and there's Willy <laughs> sorry they do have predators such as tigers that you know will eat them so Borneo orangutans have it uh, safer there she is, little boy. She stayed there for the longest time, like 30 minutes. And she would just pose and do silly things, you know? Um, it was quite cute. Our orangutans also eat about 100 different kinds of fruit. And when there's no fruit available, they do eat some leaves. You know, they'll eat some bark and flowers and, you know, supplementary items to their diet. 
what else? An adult male can have a home range about 15 square miles. I, I think I read 15 square miles. And the females have one about 3.5 square miles. Look at him. Don't you just want to do that? Don't you just want to be born in orangutan and like flop on the floor and eat some delicious leaves? And just hang out. Look at him. He's so handsome. <laughs> uh, it was great. Um, the males will, will do a call when they sense another male in their area. You know, maybe the male wandered into their territory by accident. They didn't realize it, so the male, you know, will call out. But that also lets the females in the area know that there's a handsome, charming guy that enjoys walks by the beach, you know, available, holding hands and sharing feelings. You know, maybe he can get a mate. Um, what else? I didn't get a chance to speak to a zookeeper. I, I tried pretty hard to find somebody and I couldn't. Look at her. Look at Aisha. Go, go, Aisha, go. See, she's doing really well. She's two years old. I'm surprised that mom is letting her be away from her so much, you know? I thought that the baby stayed close to their mom for like chest to chest for like four years or something like that, but maybe captivity allows the orangutans to grow more independently. Thank you.